Hey guys, Grant here from dropshipsocial.com. Don't dropship apparel. Okay, I'm going to get into the reasons why this is not a good idea. Alright, so the main reason I think it's not a good idea to dropship apparel online, I, I mean, I personally have a clothing label that I've been working on for many years, and I've been through all of this uh, over many, many years. It takes a long time to get something right. I would not dropship apparel for profit. I would do it only for passion. If you like to do it, you know, go for it. Do it, but don't do it as a profitable business model unless you... Are really passionate about it, then it'll it, you'll have the the drive to get it all done. There's just there's mountains of issues that come along with uh, dropshipping apparel. So there's a very very high return rate. You know, um, there's lots of different sizes that you know a different shirt might fit differently to uh, what they're used to putting on. So if they put on uh, normally put on a large and then they put your shirt on, it doesn't fit exactly right compared to what they're normally using. You'll get a return. Um, the feel of the material even, uh, if, you, if you don't have uh, a really good quality material or it's not what they're used to, you'll get a return. Even the make, the make of the shirt, so they might, they might for the same reason, they might put it on, it might not fit the same as the shirts that they normally, they normally want to put on, they actually feel comfortable in, so you get returns. So as I've said here, very high return rate, okay? And really it's a very minimal profit margin too because you've got to understand that um, to get them made, tagged, um, bagged, printed, shipped, it, it all eats into that profit margin and there's not really that much there to start with. So according to our dropshipping model, it it's really doesn't fit the, the, the niche. Um, the niche doesn't fit the criteria anyway. It's just too low of a profit margin, too low of a price price point for for to be profitable, to be a good profit um, margin for this for a niche. So, so yeah, the profit margin just really isn't there. You just need to sell too many. You, if you're going to be selling lots and it does become a you know really big business and a popular business, you might be doing all right. But you do need to ship lots of units to to make a a, a good profit. Um, it's just easier to sell a more expensive product that you've still got to pay to get people to your store. So if you can get them to buy a more expensive product, and you only have to ship one compared to 50 shirts, then, you know, that just makes sense. There's also, when it comes to actually building the website, you're going to have lots and lots of variants because you've got size, color, style, print. The variants just go on and on and on. And um, I've done this before and it, it does become a very big headache because um, building the website itself, you don't want to have too many variants because it just adds to the work. Um, but also it adds to the cost because if you've got to have that many variants in each size and each color and each style and each feel and stock and color and I think I just said color, but it does become expensive to get all those just for each each design. So keep that in mind. Um, look, if you're game, here's some here's some um, suppliers and ways that you can get your hands on on the actual on the actual gear. You can go to Alibaba, that's not a new idea, but it does take a little bit of time to search through all of the listings and find ones that are good and legitimate. Uh, I've spent thousands of dollars trying to get uh, very good quality products and, and people shipping on time and getting um, the, the minimum quantity orders down is quite hard because over in China they really do push to have a large minimum quantity order or MOQ. And... Uh, that means you're going to have you've got to have a lot of money because each style and size and color and like I said, all the variants it does build up very quickly. Even though they are a lot cheaper over there, much much cheaper than what you would pay here in Australia or or uh, in the USA, but it does add up. Uh, local supply is probably best when you're first starting. I would I would source a local supplier and try and get a deal with them for you know a, a much smaller quantity to test the market. And you can see their quality straight away. Ask them just to print a few samples, and um, they're more than more than happy to do that most of the time. So you can you can get the feel for it. Um, the only problem with that is, you know, they generally use a blank, a blank T-shirt. So if you if you have a 
a brand in mind, you really do want to have everything covered. So you want to have your, your neck tag done. You want to have a side tag with all the washing instructions and and the print on the front or the back or the sleeve or whatever. So the, the smaller suppliers, they don't often do the inside of the neck tags and they might just use a blank with a, you know, a Gildan tag in there or an AS color or something like that. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, you can use print on demand suppliers like uh, someone like Printful where this is a much better option. Obviously, if um, if you do decide to go into the apparel market, it's going to be a lower, uh, it's a, you're going to be making a lower profit margin. But the, the benefit of this is you don't have to spend any money on the initial outlay. You can just, you know, go to um, Fiverr, for instance, and, and get 20, 30 designs made up, upload them all um, on the back end of Shopify there, in, incorporate the Printful app, and then every time someone orders a shirt, they print that on demand uh, each time an order comes through and they send that directly to the customer. So I'm not too sure if they have the uh, relabeling in the, in the uh, back of the shirts for that. Um, you'd probably have to look that up yourself, but that's a much cheaper option to do. Uh, but you, you, the profit margins are very, very small when, you, when you're talking about doing it that way. Uh, next option, probably the best option is uh, I've done this once before and I've been over to the Canton Fair in Guangzhou in China and go and meet with the suppliers themselves, pick the shirts up, feel them, try them on shirts, dresses, wetsuits, whatever you're thinking about doing. But the Canton Fair is just the best place to source these things. You can meet everybody um, and, and do the deals right there in front of everyone, right there and you don't have any, there's no guesswork. There's no guesswork when it comes to the, the feel of the materials and what they look like and, and how they fit. So the only only thing with that is you, you do need to contact suppliers beforehand and, and generate a relationship before. And that's because you do need an invitation to go to the Canton Fair from a supplier. And then you can obviously get your visa, etc. But if you do go to the Canton Fair, it's just a much easier way to do it. Right, well, I could probably go on with this for a long time. I've been doing this for many, many years with my brand and I'm still not at the point where I want to be with my brand. Um, I get distracted with all my dropshipping stuff as well. So, uh, yeah, I'll leave it there, guys. But um, if, if you do have any more questions about it, I'm more than happy to answer anything. So just shoot us a question on, on our uh, social network, on dropshipsocial.com, on our Facebook group. And uh, actually, this topic came from a question on our Facebook group. So feel free to head in there and ask us a question. But um, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe too, guys. And uh, thanks for watching.